Welcome everybody, Kasabi here. Today we got the Stadium Creator video from San Diego Studios and MLB The Show 21 with a lot more in-depth look at what we can expect for the Stadium Creator. I am super excited because this looks a whole lot more polished and in-depth in terms of what you can create, much more than what I anticipated. Starting with this image right here, this is the first image of the stadiums that they showed us and it looks very similar to one of the previous images that we saw from Tuesday, but this one you can actually see a few more things added. So we got some rocks and foliage in the outfield, but namely in the left field fence area, we have a UFO. So definitely some fantasy type themes and maybe some over the top stuff that we'll see from the create a stadium editor also just want to focus right here on the scoreboard so we have a scoreboard that i didn't see before and that has the pitcher and batter information so it does seem like you might be able to customize a few of those things around the stadium itself this is the next one right here uh, pretty run-of-the-mill generic stadium you have uh, blue outfield fences it looks like the diamond itself is a little bit more customized than the other ones you got that little patch of dirt kind of closer to the first and third base coach sides. This one's very symmetrical feel. You got stands all the way around. You got a scoreboard out in center field. This one right here, regarding the fences, you can change the heights of each fence and it will tell you the dimensions of your fences as you're editing it. You can customize fences. You can add certain parts of the fence where you can make it larger or smaller comparative to the rest of your ballpark. So I guess if you wanted to have a 10 foot wall just in the middle of nowhere out in left center field, you could do that. I'm also thinking about missions, how much easier having created a stadium would be just because if you wanted to hit a bunch of doubles and triples, you could probably make the walls as big as you want to. If you wanted to hit more homers than anything else, you could make the field a lot shorter and the fences really short too. So I have a feeling a lot of people are gonna make stadiums that kind of fit whatever stat missions they might be doing, which I don't know how common that is in Diamond Dynasty, but it could be an option just so you don't have to have the random chance of it all. You can just pick a stadium that kind of fits your needs and grind those out against the computer or something like that. Also with this picture right here, you kind of see like a little tentacle monster here on the left holding a baseball. So again, we kind of talked about it in my previous video. They're going to have a lot of generic statues and monuments that might not fit like a current major league team, but probably something that they already have audio for in the game. So um, I'm curious to see like what all is available here. It does say at the bottom too, select and adjust from over 1,000 unique pieces to design your ballpark. This one right here is a bit weird to me uh, in terms of molding the fence, but like the crowd doesn't really come with it. I think it'd be kind of strange to have such a gap between the wall and the crowd. I mean, just looking at this, you can do so much with the fence itself. It seems like it's entirely customizable and it kind of has like these friction points. Those little blue anchor points that seems like at the bottom are wherever it kind of locks that piece into place. And then you can kind of, between the two anchor points, mold whatever you want or adjust the fence, the height, the distance, whatever you want to change. With this portion right here, when they're adjusting the fences, you can kind of get a quick glimpse at all the control buttons at the bottom before it's covered up by the graphics. So. Uh, looks like the place button is the X button. The square button brings you to your inventory. So that will probably show you like all the different booths and statues and types of stands you could probably build. Zoom button, L1, R1, rotate, L2, R2. So kind of similar to what you might see with the logo editor. You can kind of move stuff around and turn it to whatever strikes you best. Cycle category and props. So categories probably the type of thing that you're manipulating and then the props themselves where you can cycle through there's another thing that says toggle snap too so the game might be able to detect what you're trying to put your item on top of and snap it to the next nearest element without it having to float in the air or just kind of have that weird clippiness on it and the other two I can't really see right now, but it says Creation Hub, which might be like to tell you how much data you've used in your ballpark or what you want to 
call the ballpark, any information that you want to place regarding your ballpark if other people were to find it and download it. This graphic right here just kind of shows you all the different types of fencing you can do in the same ballpark. So you can have high center field, but low in the left and right field. Or this one, it kind of has a little bit higher fences near the, the alleyways and left center and right center. So again, I, I'm not really a fan of the stands not really like coming up to where the fences are like this. I suppose you need to have some sort of like bullpen area available for it to work. So uh, about that, these icons in the top right corner, you can kind of see here, it has two circles that look like they're out of a hundred. One is kind of like a save disc shape. The other one looks like a, a lock or a computer or something like that. That's probably just telling you how many shapes you have left before you reach your limit or how much percent you have before you can save it so i'm guessing if you go over 100 it's going to turn red and not allow you to save your ballpark you'll probably need to take a few pieces out before you can save it and use it the other two it kind of shows a bat with a strike through and then another one that kind of looks like a maybe like a home plate or something or like a trolley car with a strike through it i'm kind of guessing this is mostly just like I said, the bullpen, you kind of need the bullpens to be available because when you go to your bullpen in like franchise mode or something, you need to be able to have an area where you can snap over and like see the pitchers throwing in the bullpen. If you don't have anything, like the game might just kind of glitch out. So it's probably telling you you need to add some bullpens somewhere just to prevent that from happening. Another look here at what looks like the coke bottle from san francisco the backdrops look really nice there is a, a little bit of an issue between like the beach and like the grass of the stadium where you can kind of see you know where the textures ran out from like the whole beach scene to the stadium that you're creating now uh i do want to see too let me go back a second here it does look like the field patterns are a bit different so these ones you have some horizontal and vertical lines if i go back to this one here it kind of looks more like a dna type of circle strand cut into the grass so i'm hoping you can actually customize the grass the warning tracks and we saw a little bit with the baseball diamond itself earlier with the dirt here's another look at the fences you can use so again i see those little blue dots at the bottom those are probably your anchor points for where you want to customize your fences and where you want them to zig and zag out and in it looks really simple too like watching this video you can kind of just push your analog stick in whatever direction you want to move it which is really nice and uh this one's kind of funny here too so first of all you have the scoreboards for i think that's wrigley field in both left and right field so you are going to be able to mix and match a whole lot of elements from existing ballparks that was something that i kind of touched on in my last video but it also looks like you have some hanging UFOs in here. Maybe you'll have some monsters based on what Tatis and Coach said in the video previously. Maybe you'll have like some stuff that looks like a knight's castle or like other fantasy type elements. But whatever you can probably envision that fits within the audio files they have for your team nicknames, you'll probably be able to do something with a couple of items or objects in the stadium creator to theme along with that. This one's really cool. So it seems like they have different types of material that you can use for your concourse. So right here, it's going from concrete to brick to marble. So in addition with the statues that you have in the game, you must be able to kind of adjust the coloring or like the, the texture of the items that you're customizing. You have a bunch of trees here and they have some dotted lines around them that kind of will show you the outline of that tree. So it'll tell you if it's clipping into something else. Right now, it has like a red outline and it looks fine, but I don't know if that's just because it's not clipping in anything or again, like the top right corner. Um, those ones are fully in the red with like your memory and save. So this one's probably telling you that you can't place anything or it's probably telling you that you probably should just because you're already out of memory. And this one's really cool here too. It says choose from multiple stadium kits. So I'm guessing they have a lot of pre-made stadiums that you can just go in and tweak certain elements of. But by and large, you could probably just leave it alone based on the type of stadium it is. So 
Uh, this one's the like red rocks type of desert. So they'll probably have like a desert themed stadium that you can customize. They'll probably have one that's like outdoors on the river, like we saw previously. So all the different themes just to kind of give you a good start. And that way, if you like mess something up, you can just go back and you don't have to build your stadium from scratch all the way over again. You can kind of just use a pre-built stadium that they have and then just adjust a few things here or there to really make it your own. This one's probably one of my favorites in the video. So you have a really impressive outfield with like plenty of people in the stands. You got the dual video scoreboards. I love how they have the graphic that says hit it here. I like this. Um, you can make some very basic ones too. So if you want to make like a minor league team looking stadium versus a huge MLB stadium, you can do that. Uh, this stadium might be a lot more appropriate for like a college franchise as opposed to relocating all the teams in the MLB. This part of the video, you're actually changing the batter's eye to a bunch of different types. So that will be customizable. And then this last part of the video is really intriguing in the fact that it looks like they recreated the Field of Dreams. If they have a lot of ballparks like this pre-made too, where you can make like Field of Dreams or other classic stadiums. I mean, this really makes me feel like the possibilities are endless because if this isn't something that's already pre-built by them, I'm not sure if it is just because they were gonna have like a, I think it was like Yankees and White Sox game at the Field of Dreams anyway, but uh, if they're showing off like what you could build in the stadium creator and they just built this entirely from scratch, that's really cool because a lot of people are going to be building historic stadiums or maybe their childhood stadiums. You can even build a stadium like backyard baseball, uh, stuff from other mediums. So I really hope like this is just indicative of the amount of creativity you can put into something in the stadium creator. But I don't really know for certain because they might have added the Field of Dreams for that MLB game they were planning on having at that field anyhow. And then it does say share your stadium with friends and play or edit your favorites in the online community. Doesn't really come right out and say it, but I think that pretty much confirms the fact that they are going to have a stadium vault for you to download or at least some sort of community page where you can view other people's work and download it yourself, edit it. Vaults are just typically what they've used in the past. I don't know if they're going to continue to do vaults like that or not, or maybe they've kind of reworked it just so you can make it a little bit easier to, you know, figure out what you're downloading. A lot of other games that have like Steam creators like this, like uh, the Golf Club, you can actually set a featured image so people can kind of get a little bit of a view of what you're downloading. So I hope that when you're like describing the stadium name or information of what you're making that you can also set like a featured image and that way you can use this pan tool to show everybody what you're building or what they're downloading before they download it. And I'm hoping too, since they have a stadium vault that custom team vaults are also in the mix because that would be a little strange to have one and not the other, if that makes sense. So if they're going all out like this for franchise mode I'm still not certain if it's going to be playable online because they did say you'd be able to play with friends online but there is the whole issue of are you going to be able to play PS5 versus PS4 because PS4 doesn't have stadium creator like how does that all work will the PS4 actually load stadium created stuff like this or can you just play against the computer versus like an online opponent if it's against the computer, that's really neat because it doesn't have any competitive feedback or like anything that will affect people's rankings. Meanwhile, if you play against the computer in a stadium like this, like I said earlier, you can just grind for doubles or home runs or anything like that that you're trying to achieve for stat missions. Oh, I guess at the end of the video, they build the huge green monster, which is on everybody's mind. You know, will I be able to make something like this that's just complete absurdity. I'd be really shocked if they allowed something like this in the competitive scene, like a 100 foot tall green monster, but we'll see. Um, they're gonna have the development blogs with Ramon and you know, people have been asking him questions on Twitter with these like special threads where they might address some of these questions, but all in all, a huge W for MLB The Show and San Diego Studios. This is something that people have been asking for for a very long time and 
it looks a whole lot more customizable than what I had originally anticipated or even thought might have been possible. This is a huge selling point for next gen consoles and it really makes me believe that there is a lot to look forward to in terms of franchise news. Um, I was a little bit bummed about year to year saves but I'm seeing like the extent of how big Creative Stadium is and this is great like I will be able to create a franchise that has all of these creative elements in that I wasn't able to get before and I can play the way that I want to. And that's a huge thing in sports video games that doesn't really seem to be embraced by a lot of other game developers in the community. Out of the Park Baseball has a lot of customizable options, but I really enjoy being able to play the game as opposed to just manage. And now I have all these creative designs and abilities that I can also play in, and that just brings me so much more enjoyment. Regardless, Stadium Creator, I'm very excited. I actually really hope to build stadiums or edit them myself, kind of similar to what I do with logos in the future. So I'm gonna probably get used to it first before I take any commissions or do too much outside of stuff just for me and really get used to it since this is the first year for everybody. And first I wanna see if I'm even good at it. Like I've made a few custom stuff in like the golf club and whatnot and um, I have to see like how much of an investment time-wise this is to create a stadium and it's a lot harder to say what you want in a stadium from a commission standpoint versus a logo like a logo people can just show me exactly what they want stadium creator they can say like I want this in left field I want this as the backdrop but there's just a whole lot more unique qualities that you have to address and maybe nitpick a little bit along the way so but I would be very much interested in making stadiums for people going forward just like I said might be a couple months before I actually start doing that just so I can get used to it and know everything involved so that was the big news from Thursday uh, MLB the show said they'd be having announcements like this every Tuesday and Thursday and here we are we're still like a whole month from launch and they still have so much more to do with announcing like franchise maybe some new legends for the game and i don't know why you'd like tease your biggest thing this early in march you know like i feel like they have a whole lot more coming that is going to excite people i think this is all the announcements they're going to make on stadium creator for now like we might find out a little bit more information on the deep dive video with ramon but I'm excited. This is huge for the game, for any sports franchise, really. Like, I hope 2K and Madden and them are kind of seeing what's happening here and taking notes. I know 2K has some customization options and whatnot for their stadiums, but just people love playing franchise. I know it doesn't make companies money, and a lot of people just kind of put it on the back burner compared to you know, like the ultimate card modes, but MLB The Show's do doing it right. You don't have to pay a whole bunch of extra money for microtransactions, and they're giving you stuff like this, even though they're a smaller developer. And they should be proud of themselves for pushing the envelope, listening to fans, which Coach kind of said indirectly in this video. So that's what I'm trying to tell you, Tatis. Sometimes you just gotta speak up. That'll be it for this video. My name's Kasabi, thanks for watching. Hope to hear some even better news coming out from Emily the Show here in the next month.